Foundry Theater bringing films made by local artists to the big screen tonight. That's kind of been what they want to do. Yeah, it's like a, a bit of the Foundry Theater mission. Yeah. So Steve, Judy, and Caitlin Burns are here to tell us about the big screening leading up to premiere, the premiere of the new movie Aquarium. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks for and you tell us where you're from. Yeah, uh, so we're actually both from the same place. Okay. We're from Lewisburg. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, we actually grew up while well, we were in high school together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we each went our separate ways. We, I went out to Atlanta. Yeah, and now I'm in L.A. You're in uh -huh. L.A. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and the Very actor cool. strike is over. Yeah. So maybe some real, some real work can start. <laughs> but in the meantime, you've got this under your belt. Tell us about this movie. Yeah, so this actually just started off as an idea. I, I wanted, as an actor, you're always itching to do something, right? Uh -huh. And so I was like, why not make something myself? So I had this little idea, but I'm not a writer. I'm not a director. I was like... Uh, let me I, let me reach out to all these friends I made when I was sure. in college in uh, Marshall. Uh -huh. Yeah, and so I actually got a loan together and uh, yeah, cast oh, it, uh, me and Caitlin uh -huh. uh, as the leads in it, and uh, all of our friends who are extremely talented. We pulled it together in two so weeks. Great. In yeah. two weeks, and tonight, and I'm thinking, what a good mo good night to see a movie because if we're getting into that cool weather and mm -hmm. we're looking yeah. for fun things to do, where yeah. it'll be nice and warm, and we can actually see this film tonight. So talk about this event. Right. So it's actually at 7.30 tonight okay. at the Foundry Theater. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Foundry is a theater right above the City Hall, yeah. and they are, are, they're, they're an amazing little theater. Mm -hmm. uh, they're allowing us to, to take it, our film and per, uh, show it off to everybody for free. Yeah, on uh, their big new screen, by the way. Which, that yeah, because we're talking screen. about that, yeah. that yeah. they now have this screen right. that they, they this can ability highlight films like this. So that is yeah. great. Right, yeah, local yeah. West Virginia films. Yeah. Like, we want to get that out there and build that up. and. The yeah. artist community around here is incredible. So, yeah. and a lot, not a lot of people know that. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I think it's so, so, what's it like being in in this? What was it like being in this film? And then, I'm sure you've already seen the cut. So, what's it like to see yourself on there? Oh, it's nerve wracking. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it probably. I is. bet it would. I be. prefer doing the work, not watching myself. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> no one likes. See, nobody likes the sound of their own voice. You know, it's yeah. like oh. we do that all the time. We say that. Oh. But to see yourself up on the big screen, so but it uh, also has to be exciting for both of you. Yeah. It's a crazy big deal that we're like, could make this after, you know, humble beginnings mm -hmm. to yes. making our own content. So, yeah. Yeah. so what's the storyline about? But because before we went on, I was asking you a little bit, and you all said you all were in like a bomb shelter. And, and I jokingly said, I hope you're not claustrophobic. <laughs> Which I am. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, yeah. That, makes it, that makes it a more believable movie. Extra challenging. Movie, right, yes. right. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so the film's actually about, uh, it's about a relationship, which there's a lot of films about relationships, right? right? But this is specifically about the end of a relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not necessarily like a, a terrible relationship, but it's just they've, they've both reached an end point of their relationship. Right. Okay. And uh, it's all metaphorically told in a bunker set at the like, end of the world. There's a bomb going off because it's kind of the the story is they're trapped together and they're like trying to make this thing work and my character's like controlling her water intake and she's like fed up with that and it all relates to their relationship in the real world What's and the it's timeline of this is it 1950s 1960s or, or is it current now? time is it current? or future it's so, a little bit of both it has yeah. like a mm. um it, it's sort of a what would you call it? Um, Maybe timeless? Abstract, kind okay. of. Yeah. So you don't really know when. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's even more interesting then because it could be today and it could be the past it, because these are probably things that, you know, the, the, the theme that you're dealing with is really timeless. That we can relate to yeah. regardless. Anybody in any age. Yeah. I think one of the coolest things about the film as well is we have this old timey radio that constantly is like playing like it's kind of telling the audience what's kind of going on in their relationship and oh, we're like see. listening to the show was that That's part of that original idea that you were thinking of actually no, no. that was they brought, they uh, that was all by the writer yeah uh -huh. brooke she was amazing yeah tell us about the writer uh yeah so her name's brooke whaley i i met her through uh first of all i met uh uh, Caden Tooley, who actually did our camera and all that. And, yeah, he's very good. Uh, he's amazing. Yeah. I met him in college, uh, and he had this connection to all these people, and I met Brooke through that, and mm -hmm. she's an amazing writer, and That's she great. took it, just my little idea, and, like, turned it into this, what it is. So. That, is that is so cool. It yeah. really is. So just from that little clip we've been watching, mm -hmm. it really looks good. It's very intriguing. So remind us when we can all come see it. 
That would be tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight's the night. Tonight at 7.30 at the... it's free. So it's actually not free. Oh, okay. It is a ticket. <laughs> Sorry. It's free. So it's, yeah, free for, there, it's free for us to show our film. I yeah, they, they are, yes. yeah, which yeah. is a big deal. Because I mean, the cost of putting something like that on, it's uh -huh. not free if you want to see it, but it's free if you get somebody to take you and pay for it. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. So at the, at the yeah. door, it's actually, it's a $10 ticket uh -huh. price, yes. and that's to help support uh, the films. It's up to support the theater itself yeah. and so all that. So that's a good cost. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm not taking the money and going out to dinner <laughs> by myself, you know. Yeah, yeah, but it's exciting. You deserve to go out to dinner. This is yeah, a big do. night for both big of you. celebration. It's, a, it's very cool for both of you to be able um, to do this. And thanks for coming on. Are you Absolutely. all working on anything after this that you want to share, or at least how people can follow along with some local mm -hmm. actors? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, so you can follow me at Caitlin A. Burns on Instagram, mm -hmm. and I'm just sort of... Um, still working on films. Like you said, the strike has slowed things down. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. um, I'm also doing voiceover work. So if you have any, like, if you're any interested, projects? you can follow me. There you yeah. go. And also you right can there. hire. She's available for hire. <laughs> right. for work and everything yeah. else. And what so. about you? Yeah, yeah, so right now I'm actually I'm doing a film out in Los Angeles. It's just an it's a indie feature. Uh -huh. uh, and it's an action film. So I just did a fight scene where I was just in a towel and I had a knife. And that was it. <laughs> uh, but oh, it's going need, really. <laughs> You know. It's that going really so well. It's, it's called 36 Hours, and uh -huh. it's planned to release uh, next summer. Okay. Well, exciting. That's great. Yeah. Well, keep us posted on how things yeah. go. And if you're ever back through town, stop on yeah. by. Yeah, And then that way we can say we knew them when. I know. Back then. <laughs> exciting. So, thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you guys so much. It. Thanks for having me.